At the movie's beginning, we're introduced to a woman traveling to a lonely hunting lodge in the Austrian Alps with her two companions, Hugo and Louise, and their beloved dog, Lynx. After they arrive, Louise demands that Hugo join her at a pub in a nearby village, leaving their dog as well as the lady behind, since she insists on relaxing. The woman sleeps alone at night, waiting for her two friends to return. The following day, she discovers that her friends haven't yet returned to the lodge. Because of the silence that surrounds her, she suddenly feels insecure. She is worried that something has happened to her friends. The woman walks into the village, trailed by her dog, searching for her friends. As they go down the street, the dog suddenly stops and begins barking. The woman approaches to inspect the situation, but the dog refuses to step ahead. The dog seems to have witnessed something terrifying. The dog does not listen to her and instead continues going backward. As she travels along the path, a strangely invisible wall unexpectedly stops her progress. She is wholly perplexed since she sees nothing in front of her. She feels the wall with her hands, which looks translucent like glass and is linked to the rock. After numerous failed attempts to go past the unseen barrier, the woman returns to the lodge with the dog. Later, she comes close to a farmhouse, but the invisible wall prevents her from interacting with the two owners, who appear to be stuck in time. She pushes the wall with her might to pass through and screams for assistance, but no one hears her. Although the water from the tap continues to flow, the pair appears to be still, as if they are some sort of video game characters. The woman is bamboozled by the strange atmosphere, and after a while, she gives up and departs. Every day, she visits the place to see whether the wall has vanished, but gets disappointed and returns to the lodge. One night, she is awakened from her sleep by a loud sound outside the door. She's terrified, so she double-checks everything after opening the door. To her horror, she notices that the wall has shrunk and stands in front of the lodge's main entrance. She starts screaming when she feels the wall and then wakes up. The next morning after waking up, she carefully opens the door to see if the wall has shrunk. She is relieved to discover that her entrance is clear and the wall is absent. After re-exploring the area with binoculars, she determines that the couple at the farmhouse and everyone else in the village must be dead. While walking around the area, the woman comes upon a cow and decides to take it. She feeds and milks the animal, which she names Bella, knowing it is a blessing and a hardship. She eventually becomes motivated to break through the barrier. She climbs into Hugo's car and drives down the road towards the village, attempting to go past the obstacle, but ends up colliding with the invisible wall. Her head starts bleeding and she is hurt, yet the wall remains intact. In the following scene, we find her writing down her experiences on paper inside her residence. She begins by stating that she's been inside the home for 10 days and no one has come to see her. She begins to cry in her bed and even considers taking her own life, as it is the only option available to get out of the predicament. She also thanks Hugo for stocking up on enough provisions to last the entire winter. Defying despair, the lady determines that she can make it through the summer with the cow and her never-ending wood supply. She keeps track of the passing time by checking off the days on a calendar while she grows potatoes and seeks food a reminder of the civilized existence she still has. On one of the days at the lodge, it's drizzling outside. All of a sudden, the woman hears noises coming from the outside. She is terrified and steps cautiously outdoors to see a little, frail cat drenched in the rain. She then adopts the stray cat. Soon, the food starts to run out because they've been living together for four months. Winter is approaching and she will be in charge of the food supply for the entire season. Because of this, the woman is forced to participate in the bloody business of hunting animals for meals to survive. She goes deer hunting in the woods with her dog Lynx, but gets injured by the rifle's recoil while attempting to shoot down a deer. After the failed effort, she returns to the wrecked automobile location. She discovers a map in the car, which assists her in locating the way to another neighboring resort. One early morning, the woman goes to another lodge in a high alpine meadow, followed by her dog Lynx. The woman is transformed by the experience, which is soothed by the beautiful summer sun, the lovely highlands, and the peaceful sounds of birds. 
She spots a truck hauling timber within the forest and approaches it gently. She expects to see someone there, but the glass-like barrier prevents her from doing so. Instead of getting annoyed, the woman just responds with a calm grin and returns. After some trekking, she discovers a lodge and explores it to bring some important stuff with her. She wants to sit in the sun, with lynx at her feet and a bird circling above the sky, but she needs to return to the lodge to feed Bella. She shoots a deer on her way back to the lodge and expresses guilt for doing so. At night, she is terrified of the lightning and thundering while it rains. She shuts her eyes and sleeps on the opposite side. In the morning, she hears a strange noise coming from within a cabinet. When she gets close to the cabinet, she discovers that the cat has given birth to a frail white kitten. The woman names the newborn white cat Pearl since it is white and gorgeous. She believes that the small cat is unlucky to be in an unknown location like her. She then says that she is just like the animals who all die at some point. Later that year, on July 20th, the lady harvests the hay in the meadow with tremendous labor. During the harvesting procedure, her hand becomes infected with sores and fractures. She returns to the lodge with a bale of hay. Because of the weather and her physical limitations, it takes her around three weeks to harvest the meadow. She describes how, despite fall being her favorite season, she felt extremely unwell. She couldn't sleep at night and had more complex and vivid nightmares than normal. However, there was someone to always cheer her up. Because Lynx is her closest pal, he couldn't stay unhappy for more than three minutes, and she couldn't stay sad next to him. He is always energized and cheerful. The lady also believes that something unique about her causes Lynx to bow down when he sees her. When the woman travels to locate a new path, she comes across a tree full of human clothing. The wind continues to blast snow from the mountain and it gets very chilly outside. She is compelled to remain inside the lodge to stay warm. She is still concerned about the cats, particularly Pearl, the white one. She later reveals that Pearl had perished in a three-day windstorm. She returns to the jungle early in the morning and discovers Pearl's body. The woman then buries Pearl, mentioning that the windstorm had also stopped at the end of the night. It's the first time she had to confront death in the woods. The woman feels that she is the only one in the forest who can distinguish right and wrong. From November 5th, the woman begins writing her report on the backs of old calendars and stationery. A harsh winter awaits the woman and her animals. She feels that Bella is going to give birth to a calf. Bella holds a special place in her heart, as if she were her younger sister, who, like her, has been through a lot in her life. She also feels outraged at the prospect of having to continue killing animals for food. She cannot sleep at night due to her guilt of murdering the helpless animals. In the next scene, Bella, the cow, begins giving birth to a calf on January 11th. The lady chooses to participate in the deed with her. After a long battle, she gives birth to a healthy calf. In the weeks ahead, the woman becomes exhausted and fantasizes about collapsing into the numbing snow. The lady and her animals depart in a group on May 25th after spending a year at the lodge in the small valley. They climb to the high mountain pasture where they spend the summer soothed by the bright sun and star-filled evenings. She has begun to experience less homesickness and worry. She states she didn't keep a diary when she was at the pasture hunting lodge. For the first time in her life, the woman feels quiet in her thoughts. She didn't even make a note of the crucial occurrences in the pasture, since she believes they are still so fresh that she may write about them at any time. She is seen relaxing in the pastures, enjoying the scenery, the warm sun in the day, and the stars at night. During that second summer, she begins to undergo a transition, as if her newer self is being absorbed into a bigger totality. The lady returns from the pasture in October and resumes writing her report. Winter arrives rapidly, followed by spring. She feels that time is flying by and she has no recollection of writing it. She feels that while she is working on anything, time passes quickly and that when she is through, it embraces her again. In the following scene, the woman is shown sitting quietly in her chair, pondering about Lynx. She conveys her empathy for the animals and humans that are forced to live their lives against their will. 
One morning, she notices a white crow who seems to have been shunned by her black family. She thinks the crow is lovely and mentions that it's absurd that there should not be a white crow. She provides food for the crow after its flock has flown away, believing it to be like her, alone in the woods. The lady gradually disengages from her history and flourishes in a new order. In June, the woman and her animals return to the meadow, but she isn't as enthralled as she was last year. She says that Lynx is now unafraid of anything and does not believe that she will disappear into thin air. A dog's most significant dread is being abandoned by the person they love. She believes she and Lynx share a profound understanding. One day, Lynx detects something when returning from a hike and races towards the lodge. When the lady arrives at the lodge, she witnesses a strange man slaughtering Bella's bull calf with an axe. She hurries inside the lodge to retrieve her gun since she is terrified of seeing it. The guy murders Lynx as he attempts to stop him. The woman pulls out her rifle and fires at the stranger, killing him. She's devastated when she sees Lynx lying dead on the ground. The lady buries her dog Lynx after throwing the stranger's dead body over a cliff. In the early morning, she and Bella the cow leave the pasture and return to the small valley. She harvests potatoes, fruit, and straw in October, which takes a week. Winter will be here before we know it. The woman finishes her report on February 25th, having run out of paper to write on. The film comes to a close here. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.